Okay, in uh, this example, we're going to show uh, how to read from the analog input on the Arduino board. So we've already hooked the Arduino board up to the computer, got the drivers working, and got Arduino, the Arduino board communicating with MATLAB and previous screencasts. Now we're just going to uh, show a little analog in example. So I'm just going to use this little thermistor here. It is part number KC003T.ND. It's about a 10 kilo ohm resistor that changes its resistance based upon temperature. And this, I believe, is a 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. We're just going to uh, power this little simple circuit through the Arduino board. So I'm going through the uh, ground here, to the ground on my breadboard. 5 volts here to positive voltage on my breadboard. Now remember, on the breadboard, this whole, uh, I guess in this case would be a, a uh, column is connected. These are all ground, these are all hot, these are all high voltage, and then all these are connected together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, they're all all five of those little holes are connected together. So, first thing I'm going to do is take that 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and go just to any one of these, going into 11 there, and then I'm going to complete the circuit with this thermistor by going from the same spot, so at the end of that 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and then with that I'm going into uh, ground. So now current is flowing through the resistor, through the thermistor, and we should have a voltage across each of those. So we are going to measure the voltage right there, right between the two resistors. So I'm going to use the analog in 5 with the Arduino board, right there, okay. So now we should be measuring the voltage right there between the thermistor and the resistor. And then just to uh, show what the voltage looks like, I'm also going to measure it with my multimeter. So I measure it between ground measure DC voltage and that same spot between the thermistor and resistor. Okay, so we got 4.19 volts. If I change the temperature by my body temperature, you see the voltage change. Okay, so now we're set up and we are ready to uh, go to MATLAB. Okay, now I've opened up MATLAB and we are going to write a very simple program to uh, collect data from that thermistor. So we calibrated this, we could use it to measure temperature. So I'm going to create a new, new uh, M file, save it. I'm going to call it uh, my first analog input program. First thing I like to do is clean everything up. Uh, next thing, we're going to want to create our Arduino object. Mine is in COM8, yours might be different. Uh, we're going to want to designate the pin that we're going to measure from, which is uh, pin 5 in this case, the analog pin 5. We're going to start a clock so that we have an accurate measurement of time, and start a, uh, an index for our data, because we're going to keep our data in, uh, in arrays. So let's just collect data for, for time, let's, let's do it for 30 seconds. 
So for 30 seconds, each we're going to loop through this program. We're going to increase our index, I equals I plus 1. Uh, we're going to record our time. If you're familiar with these tick and talk functions, you can always go to MATLAB and type help tick or help talk and it'll tell you what they do. Uh, and then I'm going to record our voltage. So voltage equals A dot log read and then AI pin. So we're going to read from that pin 5. And now we're just going to plot our data. So one plot time voltage to red. And now we're going to pause for a quarter of a second, and it'll loop again. Okay, so we should uh, take data for 30 seconds, and then from this turn, hopefully we will see a record of that voltage that we could eventually convert into time. So, save and run, come to the connection. Okay, so now it's taking data. Now if I hold on to that thermistor, voltage drops, let go, the temperature starts going back down, it just goes up. We can see the same thing happening on the uh, ohmmeter. Now note that uh, these are not in units of voltage over here. These are uh, in integers that we need to convert to voltage, which we'll talk about how to do that later.